friends today we are going to see the organic chemistry practical so in this we are going to see conversion of ethyl benzoate to benzoic acid so how we can do that practical so if you are visiting this channel first time so please subscribe the channel share the video and press the bell icon button so you will get the notification of my next video let's see the preparation what's the aim of experiment so preparation of benzoic acid from ethyl benzoate now, what's the principle behind this so ethyl benzoate can be hydrolyzed to benzoic acid in basic medium so hydrolysis reaction is the basis for this particular reaction so in presence of basic medium esters are converted to acids so ethyl benzoate hydrolyzed to benzoic acid with sodium hydroxide giving sodium salt of benzoic acid which reacts with concentrated hcl to form benzoic acid which are the chemicals required for this conversion so ethyl benzoate obviously then 10% NOH and concentrated hcl what's the reaction so if you see here so we have taken the ethyl benzoate in basic medium it will undergo hydrolysis so hydroxide ion attacks on the carbonyl carbon this o minus will open and when it will revert back it will be removed so as the medium is basic so there is a formation of sodium salt of benzoic acid that is sodium benzoate and this sodium benzoate further on acidification gives desired product that is benzoic acid Let's see the experimental procedure. What we have to do in this particular conversion? So first, you have to take one ml of ethyl benzoate in 50 ml round bottom flask. Then add 10 ml of 10% NOH. You have to place one porcelain piece in the flask so as to there will be the constant heating and it avoids bumping also. Then you have to attach small water condenser to the flask and hit the reaction mixture on wire gauze about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, when no oily droplets are seen in the round bottom flask, then stop the heating and transfer all that content in 250 ml beaker. And that all content you have to cool in ice water and then in that solution you have to just add concentrated HCl stir well with a glass rod so white precipitate of benzoic acid will separate out that precipitate you have to filter at the suction pump and wash with a cold water then dry it well record the yield of good product and calculate theoretical as well as percentage practical yield okay so if you want to take the physical constant you have to recrystallize that benzoic acid from hot water so you will get a pure crystals and then you can take the melting point of that crystalline product so this is the experimental setup so here is the round bottom flask so in this round bottom flask we are taking ethyl benzoate and 10 percent NOH and just you have to heat okay so water condenser is attached to it and then the Bunsen on Bunsen burner you have to let's see the experimental setup so it's a round bottom flask so ethyl benzoate is taken in the round bottom flask with 10% NaOH then a water condenser is attached to it so this is a water condenser this will be the inlet and this will be the outlet so it is a continuous flow of the water is there and therefore the temperature of this particular place it will be the maintained so when you are hitting this round bottom flask on a burn, Bunsen burner so reaction mixture will be boiled and hydrolysis reaction will take place so that all ethyl benzoate will be converted into a sodium salt of benzoic acid and that all reaction content that now we have to pour into a beaker so after cooling 
in ice water that all solution after cooling in ice water you have to just add concentrated hcl into this so you will get the precipitate of benzoic acid then that whole precipitate you have to just filter at the suction pump here is the suction pump when you are filtering that all precipitate so you will get that white precipitate of benzoic acid here after drying so this is the benzoic acid so where you are getting that white precipitate let's see the calculations so theoretical yield how we can calculate so ethyl benzoic and benzoic acid we have taken and these are their corresponding mole, uh, molecular formulas so from that we can find out the molecular weight so ethyl benzoate has a molecular weight 150 gram and benzoic acid has 122 gram so from that we can easily calculate the theoretical yield so if you are taking the 1 gram of ethyl benzoate it will give you 0 0.8164 gram of benzoic acid so what's the practical yield of your experiment so that you have to write down here that's the e gram so whatever practical yield that you are getting that you have to write here e gram and then that practical percentage yield is calculated by this formula so if 0 0.8164 gram of product is equal to 100 percent yield then e gram of product will be this much so a into 100 divided by 0 0.8164 so whatever results you will get here that is the percentage yield of the given product so in this way you can easily calculate the theoretical yield as well as practical yield and now finally you have to put that all in a result table so melting point of benzoic acid it's about 120 degree Celsius 122 degrees Celsius practical yield of benzoic acid whatever you are getting that a gram and then finally practical percentage yield according to calculations you will get that value so in this way we can do this practical that's the ethyl benzoic to benzoic acid so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel chemistry basics and press the bell icon button so you'll get the notification of the next video and if you like this video Please share and comment in the comment box. Thank you very much.